Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open that door. If you wait a moment, then I will inform him. We will wait. Thank you. Anything new, Mr. Holmes? Is your investigation advancing? Mr. Holmes, have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast light upon a crucial point, and for that we require your help again. What can I do? We need to examine Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. What do you mean? In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused point blank to open when he was incarcerated. We did try to force it, but without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, but they came to the conclusion that it was better that the case remain shut than tamper with it too much. I see. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man is an evil genius, a master poisoner, and that his poisons are never ordinary. Here's the key to the locker room. I give you the authorization to open it. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. Or had you forgotten? Dry your tears, miss. I'm certain that your father didn't mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. And when he finds out, he'll be furious. Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom. And I've lost the key. Your aunt. Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker. The locker room. This is where the prisoner's things are kept. Here is the locker of our friend, Hans, the mad scientist. Oh, what a jumble! blotting paper. This solid box must hold a precious object. Let us see. There's something interesting here. There's something interesting here. There's something interesting here. There's something interesting here. This cannot be a simple coincidence.
Holmes. Later, Watson, later. We can give Hans his pen. A paper knife. Blotting paper. of incompetence. Oh, if I was as unprofessional as that, there would be murderers running all over the town. What's the matter? Are you a patient of Dr. Watson? Very amusing. I was going on about the dry cleaners in Westgate Street. I've just delivered my ceremonial uniform in the middle of my duty, when I've told them a thousand times not to bring it until after six in the evening. A ceremonial uniform? You've been promoted? No. And that's not about to happen. No, I've been invited to a wedding. I, I mean, I hope to be... I'm in trouble. If the director sees that I've left my post, I'll be sacked without pay. Give it to me, Warden Brighton. I'll take care of it for you. Really? Thanks a lot. Here's the key to the cloakroom and that of my locker. I'm really grateful, Mr. Holmes. What have you got in mind, Holmes? You're not doing this out of kindness, are you? No, out of curiosity. We will be able to access the cloakroom with these keys. Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go into the basement for the moment. For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. We must enter a new security code. Do it, then. Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorised to take note of the new code. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to, and I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration centre. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need to sound it to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. Staff cloakroom. Here is Brighton's locker. Closed. Bicarbonate of soda. Brighton must have an upset stomach, caused by stress without a doubt. The name on the key is Jenny Patterson. That is interesting. Bicarbonate of soda. Brighton must have an upset stomach caused by stress without a doubt. Miss Patterson's locker. Miss Patterson's locker. Let us examine Miss Patterson's locker. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. Incredible! Is Jenny hiding something?
really very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. Barely literate. Apparently, Jenny is carrying Brighton's child, and it seems that Jenny's father, the director, is unaware of this. A locket, sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Here is the famous guard duty list. Interesting. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Let's see. O'Sullivan, it's you who takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, could I ask you for a favour? Please do. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honoured if you would care to write something in our guest book. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished, and I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. So sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes, recommending me for Scotland Yard. Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper, the one on your desk? A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks. It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. At your service, Mr. Holmes. You have what you wanted, your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? 
Are you hiding something? That is enough, Shilman. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course, and the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. What do you mean? You see, this poison was made using rare but very volatile short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. It is out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me? Well then, go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I... I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this small family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of... Yes. Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Do you really believe that he's hiding something? Because I must make an official report and have a legitimate reason for doing a search. Director, if this prison is still in operation, it is solely because of its reputation. Think of the consequences of an escape. It would be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape from Westgate under Patterson. I will order an immediate search of Mr. Shieldman's cell. Chief Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shieldman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Thank you, Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. How did you know? Wait for me in the guards' room. I won't be long. What an extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. 
You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh, yes. Dozens. Oh, he was infallible. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the Rat Killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit. Warden Brighton! In my office immediately! That's an order! The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah. You... did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Flint shout like that. But why does no Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll come with you. No, Dr. Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. But, uh, the grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in. And that smoke, it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? Sully, are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard's room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. Oh, Sullivan might be in danger. It doesn't work. There is nothing interesting here. Hey, what are you waiting for to sound the alarm, Doctor? It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the Director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor and see if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. No, I've got nothing to do with it. No, I've got nothing to do there. I've got the keys, Doctor. Thank you. Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. Finally. There you are, Holmes. I'm going to turn on the system. Watson, you make sure of the contact. I hope that this isn't dangerous.
It works. Perfect. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flints are out. We are trained for this sort of situation. And we're armed. Come and help us, Watson. Everything is back to normal. Thank you for your help, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. But where is O'Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out for the visitor's entry. Yes, and he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. Good. We must now check all the cells. It's the procedure in case of an alarm. We'll come and help you. You are evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. The grate is open. This is alarming. He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. How can he sleep with all this noise? I'll admit it's not normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take a look. Be careful, Doctor. He is dangerous. O'Sullivan! It's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else... Or else it wasn't O'Sullivan. My God! He's escaped! The Rat Killer has escaped! has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me.